Now let's discuss the Commodity Channel Index, also known as the CCI indicator. The CCI is a momentum oscillator that can be used to identify trend cycles. The CCI indicator was originally developed for commodities, but can also be used for other assets that are traded as well. It is calculated using the typical price of an asset and is used to measure how far the stock price varies from its statistical mean. The CCI is plotted on a scale ranging from negative 200 to 200. Most CCI values will be between negative 100 and 100, and the indicator will fluctuate above and below the center zero line. The fewer periods used to calculate the CCI, the more times the indicator will likely fall outside of the negative 100 to 100 range. Calculating more periods into the CCI will make it less volatile. The Commodity Channel Index can be used in several different ways. Using the CCI, you can determine various signals for trading, such as price reversals and trend strength. It can be used for finding divergences from the price movement, or to determine whether a stock is either overbought or oversold, similar to Bollinger Bands. If the CCI goes above 100, this is considered to be the overbought area, and you should start looking for an exit. Having a high CCI value indicates that the current price is high compared to average prices. The CCI is in the oversold level below negative 100, and this could be a good time to make an entry. If the CCI value is low, this shows the current price is low compared to average prices. At both the overbought and the oversold levels, you can begin using other indicators and signals to time the pending reversal. You could also look for divergences, which are found similarly to the other indicators we've discussed. If the CCI begins moving up and making higher lows, while the stock price remains in a downtrend, this could indicate a bullish reversal is coming. Combining the CCI with other indicators will help you to better identify the stock's price movement. So now let's go over how to apply and use the CCI indicator on our candlestick chart. To add the CCI indicator to your chart on TradingView, let's click the indicator icon and search for Commodity Channel Index. The CCI measures how far the stock price varies from its statistical mean. Two popular methods to use the CCI for technical analysis would be to view the oversold and overbought levels for trading, or to look for a divergence from the indicator and the stock price movement. The Commodity Channel Index is plotted on a scale ranging from negative 200 to 200. When the CCI is above 100 on the scale, it is considered overbought and you should start using other indicators to look for an exit. When below negative 100, this is considered oversold and would be the time to start looking for an entry point. As you can see here, the CCI follows the stock price movement pretty closely. If you purchased down here in the oversold area and sold up here in the overbought area, you would have done pretty well. But remember that when overbought or oversold levels are reached, you should always confirm any signals with other indicators before trading. You can also look for divergences between the price movement and the indicator for a strong reversal signal. As you can see from the bottom of this line to the top of this line, the stock movement was in a strong uptrend and continued to make new highs. But if we take a look at our commodity channel index, it did not follow the price movement and actually started to fall. This is a strong signal that the uptrend would likely reverse soon and the price movement would likely fall to catch back up with our CCI. As you can see here, after our divergence, the price movement went into a massive correction. Once the CCI got back into the oversold territory, this would be the time to use other indicators to find another entry point. So that's a brief overview of how to use the Commodity Channel Index for technical analysis. I'll see you in the next video.